Nope. It, does it sound okay? Okay. I'm used to have something in front of me. So, welcome, friends. Uh, Ubuntu friends, work friends, maybe family, I don't know. Uh, hope you have enjoyed from the day you arrived until now. We have the first UbuCon Europe with Sun. I was waiting until this morning so that I can say this. Uh, so we have a nice, nice weather in Sintra. That's not usual here. So it was a risk and we uh, passed this first um, sort of issue. So first of all, I want to thank everyone that made this possible. And we cannot forget our magnificent sponsors. Uh, this is a free event, but we have some things that we have prepared and some of that things cost money and we need money to do it. So we want to thank you. Uh, Ubuntu is our main sponsor. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows Ubuntu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we have Ansol is a national uh, association for free software. Angle Solid, the, the um, magnificent company that I work for and I'm very happy doing it, and Libertrend, a Portuguese company that sells the crazy guys, I don't know, upstairs, is a crazy guy selling Linux-powered computers, okay, with core boot on it, so he's really crazy, and he makes a business out of it, and he sponsors Ubucons, okay, and we have MySQL, one of our sponsors also, the smallest one, but uh, important. Then we have our partners. We have the municipality that provides us this magnificent venue. Uh, I don't know if we, all of you have uh, walk around and see the other part, the museum and the, the, um, the room upstairs. You have time for it, it's four days, so don't worry. And we have chalet d'Oz, some of you already know, we have the warm-up party there yesterday. Some people are working at Chalet d'Oz also. If you need to work and have a decent Wi-Fi and decent desk, you can ping them because I think there are still some free uh, desks available just for the Ubucon. They reserve the room just for us. Then there's a, a very well-known for the Ubuntu Portuguese community bar in Sintra where we meet for five years in a row Every month at a Thursday, we meet at that place and they want to join the Ubucon Europe. They are going to provide us the conditions to make a really big meetup today. Yes, this Thursday. It's this month is going to happen this Thursday. So everyone is uh, welcome to be there after dinner. Uh, and we have the birthday party also there on Saturday. I'm going to get there. Then we have TAP. Who have flight with discounts? Hey, we love TAP. Then Opsin, the brew pub, we're going to meet on Friday, and we have Nerd Zoom covering this in a language that I cannot read, but I trust they are saying bad things about us and the Ubucon and everything around it. And last of the thank yous, but not least, the volunteers. We are lots of them. Just if you need something, just ask for, just look for the yellow pin or the yellow badge or the dingo shirt. Because we don't have a dress code, but to, we invited all the volunteers to dress alike, so it's easier to spot. But some considerations, because this is a opening session, and we love trees, so we are not distributing uh, any info. We just, we just uh, um, made the, the, the signs that strictly necessary. Everything else is at a page that you can scan or just type in the, the back of your badge, and we are going to update it regularly. As long as we are not on the stage or helping you with something, we are going to update it. And you can find the, the, um, a map for the venue. You can find some... I don't know if the restaurants for lunch are already there. I think not. Uh, no, there's definitely not there yet, but it's going to be there before lunchtime and other important infos. So check there regularly if you need some, have some doubt or if you need something. We also have uh, um, 
our event is present on an app that I didn't know of until maybe two weeks ago, is Gigiti. It's present on F-Droid and other not so well-known Play Stores with apps. So you can install it, look for the Ubucon Europe, and you have the schedule updated also, so you can star and you can rem ask for reminders of the talks you want to follow. Then there's uh, something that we haven't said about. Some talks need a registration, so they are well signed on the name of the talk and on the description, so please uh, uh, go for and ch recheck your, uh, the talks you want to attend or the workshops because some of them need registration and are well identified. Please do it before the talk and not during the talk so that we can uh, not have waiting too much long waiting periods. Then we have, for, for, who's the first time? Who's the first time at Ubucon? Oh, lots of people. So I must explain this. Usually, a Ubucon starts really late and ends really early because we want people to sleep well, to socialize, to meet, to talk with each other. So we have not a, a, a super tight schedule, so we have gaps between the talks so that you can go out, smoke a cigarette, or just hang out, go for the free coffee on the other, on the other part of the, of the building, and uh, just use it wisely, the, the, the gaps. The, the map, I've, I already talked about it, and a special, ultra special request is that keep the rooms, the rooms clean, not just the auditorium, but the rooms in the other building. We have very valuable paintings on the walls. We, have, we are having talks and workshops at the Hart Museum. The other part of the building is a Hart Museum with very expensive and valuable paintings on the walls. So please respect the walls, the floors, the chair, everything, okay? We want to come back here someday. So we have social events. There were several, several uh, dates announced for the endings of the registrations. I just want to uh, shout out that there's still some places available at tonight's dinner. There are some events that need a registration and need a payment because people are cooking food to us and they have to know how many food they, are, they, are, they need to cook. So that's the, the thing you need to, the registration. So we have still some spots left at the restaurant for tonight, Tunnel. There's the meetup after. You don't need to go to dinner. If you want just to go to the meetup, you can go there. There are going to be, not yet, but there are going to be links, open street map links to every venue and place that ha happened uh, something. So if you just want to go to one place and not the other, just go there and walk or Uber or where is Diogo? Diogo Web. No, not yet. Uh, so we have still some spots left to Friday's event. Also, the craft beer is going to be uh, a, a beer tasting experience on a, a, a craft beer um, factory. Uh, it's going to be a really special night. It's going to have live music. And uh, we have still some spots left. I must talk about this. Who's registered for the brew pub? Everyone with a, with a hand up need to thank a special sponsor, a special anonymous sponsor that make the registration cheaper because the, the, the original price was higher than the ones that we announced, but we want to provide it at a lower price. So we found a sponsor that doesn't want any of us, not even the organization, to know who is it. So we just thank you, the invisible guy, that provides us a 10 euro discount. He's going to provide 10 euros for each registration for the Friday, for the Friday event. I'm going to remember all of us there tomorrow, but a special word if it's here, I don't know, it's a phantom. So, but it's, it's, if he's here, I'm, I really thank him for the, the nice gesture. And if you haven't registered yet, uh, if you have your card written by hand, Please register because we want to provide some stats on Sunday, on the, on the closing session. And it's important for everybody to register so that we can make the pie charts. Okay, remembering some talk 
from Friday. Uh, and it's really important for us. Another thing that we cannot forget is the social part. We have free Wi-Fi from this side of the Ubucorn. For us, it's just a Ubucorn, but for, for the rest, and for some technical part, it's two different buildings. In this building here, with the auditorium and the, and the, the, the I don't know the, rain, the name of the room, the S1. Who helps me? The S1, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one room upstairs, and we have, we're using the, the CC Olga Cadeval um, free Wi-Fi, you just have a captive portal, just take connect or OK. It's like a great big button. You just go there, push it, and you have Wi-Fi. I've registered my, my computer yesterday, and it's still live, so I think it's on for at least 40, uh, 24 hours. From the other side, you have another Wi-Fi, different. Uh, and it's the, the, the SSID is Ubucon EU19, hashtag. That's the hashtag we are using on the social media, so if you're on pu pu if you are publishing any content, please add at your content the hashtag UbuconEU19 so that everyone can know where you are and we can also track what is being published uh, uh, about Ubucon. If you are taking photos, you can also upload them at that link there. This is all in the infos page, right? It will be. <laughs> So it's almost everything in the infos page. If you are taking photos, you can upload them. When you are uploading them, you are offering them to us and all the other people that want to use the next link. It's the wall of fame. Every uploaded content, it's got, please don't upload porn, please. <laughs> There's no filter. I'm not giving you any ideas. But everything you upload is going to appear in the wall of fame. Okay, in a gallery, you can download them uh, in the, in the, the um, original size. So if you want to publish something, you can use that photos. I have l uploaded some so that, I know that you are, are, are looking at the second link now, right? There are some nice photos there, but there are some photos missing that's your photos. So please use it at will. It's a Raspberry Pi doing all this, so please be gentle. Okay, and I want to thank the, the, our friends from France. They have set up, it's 100% working now, right? Almost 100% working. This is going to be on the exhibition area. There's a gift box. There's a camera, you stand there for 12 seconds, right? Push the button. Stand there for 12 seconds, that's an animated GIF. Then you connect to the Wi-Fi, it's a special Wi-Fi. I don't have the SSID on my slides, but it's like something like the open WRT GIF box or GIF box the open WRT, something like that. You push your GIF and you can use it wherever you want. Just upload it to the social media and say, hey, I'm here, okay? It's a really nice, it's a really nice work. You should try it. And I think from the social part, I have everything. There's also some swag. Who, for everyone that's registered or that uh, is here today in the first day, we have made lots of spares. So even for people that doesn't regi haven't registered, uh, there was a welcome kit for you also. Uh, everything that we prepared with the help of our sponsors or partners, we are offering you everything that the community uh, have um, used money to, to provide, it's going to be on sale in the other part, on the, on the exhibition room. We have like a round table with some hoodies. There are a special edition hoodie from, with the chimneys. There are only 22, because three are missing already. Okay, you can go there and you can buy them. We are not offering the hoodies. And we have some Portuguese cock t-shirts also. It's our, uh, we adopt the cock as our um, icon here, the Portuguese community. You can go there and um, buy one of our t-shirts also there. So, I don't have anything else to say for the opening session, so Enjoy, please. If you have any questions, 
I'm always happy answering questions, so if you have any questions regarding what I just saw, uh, said. No? So, please have a nice Subucon. We are recording every session. We are not streaming them because we want people here, not at home. So we are recording everyone, every single talk is going to be recorded and published. We don't know when, but it's going to be published. Okay, so. I'm trying to use the US layout keyboard. Not easy though. I will continue, so because I am in a hurry, I want to leave this place here, so I will continue and be really quick. Uh, I don't know if you, if you uh, have uh, paid attention, but this year we are uh, celebrating the, the 15th anniversary of Ubuntu. Ubuntu was born 15 years ago, so we are having a birthday party on Saturday about that also. Uh, this was supposed to be a talk for, uh, 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 by someone else, but you couldn't make it. So I just prepared some slides with the most important uh, things, episodes, I don't know how to call them, about the 15 years. This was the, the most important part that I could remember yesterday after the warm-up party. <laughs> okay, so please be gentle with me. So, for some that don't know me, this is basically more or less what David said. I always introduce myself basically the same. So I'm just going to pass this one. So we have a teenager in the house. He's 15, okay? And what the first thing that I remember, it's, as we can all uh, figure, is the day that the first release was out. And it was in October, 2004, the first uh, version of Ubuntu is the 4.10. Who installed the 4.10? The? Warty, eh? Warty Warthog. Not me, I cannot go. <laughs> okay. So, this is not much to say. It was a really ugly version. It's the desktop, but it was made for human beings. It was the first uh, Linux distribution that we can just put a CD and boot it, and for any regular guy, can they, okay, 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 and have the a system fully working in, I don't know how much time, maybe one hour, or one and a half, maybe. Now it's six minutes. <laughs> so, this was a, a really um, game changing, because I don't know if you remember, but we go to the site, I don't know if the war talk was like this, from the beginning, we go to the website, we put our address, and they were sending us some CDs, right? And there were two CDs, the live CD, just for tryout, and the install CD. It was like a, a, a double-folded uh, booklet with two CDs, no? I don't know if it's the four, like from six up, I know that that was the, the, the thing because it was when I started, but that was really, the concept of a live CD wasn't used before this, and now, every Linux distribution has a live CD. Of most of the Linux distribution have now a live CD. We can try them without having to install or ditch something in our um, hard drive. So after this, the second thing I remember was the first and unique time that a Canonical delayed a release. Some said at the time that, oh, it is, it's going, not going to happen because they are delayed. So it was the only one. There was one 
last year in April, we were all in Ubukon and Chichon, right? Chichon, Chichon. And the, the, the release was delayed with like the announced date, like one hour, depending on the time zone. Not two months like this one. This was a really delayed because they wanted to do something really, really special and really nice working um, version. So after this, the next landmark was the first time that unit was the default desktop environment on a desktop. Who hated Unity that time? Who hated it? Who start loving it afterwards? Yeah. Okay. So, but don't worry. Now it's gone. It's a slide about it also. So, after this one, it was really, really good for media because lots of people were talking about Unity and how bad was it, and it really was bad at the time. But this, this broke my heart, okay? It's the crowdfunding for the, the magnificent Ubuntu Edge phone, okay? I don't know how much uh, uh, any of you uh, have, have uh, pledged for uh, an Ubuntu Edge. I don't. It was too expensive for me. <laughs> yeah. I but it was really going to be a really nice phone, but it was the beginning of the Ubuntu phone project that's now continuing with the UbiPorts Foundation, and thank you them for, for providing the, the, the continuation of the project and the, the updates, the regular updates that are being done. Uh, but now it's gone. So after this, what's the next main thing that happened? the first to book on Europe. I remember it, it was in Hessen, and it was raining a lot. It's not, <laughs> it's usual. So, it was the first time that we did a Hubucon was four years ago, three, no, this is four, so three years ago, and af afterwards we are doing it every year, every year. We don't know yet where's the next one, but I have my, I have my card, I want, but it's not the time yet, so we're going to talk about it in the next three days. But with the first to book on Europe was really, for me at least, a really, a really special uh, occasion. And I promise you this. So in 2007, the ditch for the Unity and the UB, Ubuntu Touch and everything, and Ubuntu returned to GNOME. Some of you like GNOME, some of you don't like it but it's what we have at least on the default uh, Ubuntu uh, flavor. So this is just for us here because in April we just did the first Ubucon Portugal, the national Ubucon that we pretend that we would like to continue doing it every year, okay? As long as I'm not on it because I'm really tired, so I'm counting on all other Portuguese guys here that look at this slide. We are counting on you to do the 2020 Ubucon Portugal. It's going to be an event mainly in Portuguese, but you are all invited. We figure out a way, we always do. And just the what's next. I don't know if you have some clues or not, but I don't, I don't have a crystal ball, so let's wait for another 15 years and be all here talking about the 30th anniversary of Ubuntu. There's going to be a really nice timeline. I finished my talk, okay? So <laughs> just this, last one, okay? So finished. I, is, we're going to provide a, um, a link to a really nice timeline that um, our friend Nick Vidal, I don't know if you know him, from the Open Source Initiative, he has compi compi um, compiled some uh, uh, events, more detailed uh, events of, the, of the, the, the 15 years also. We're going to provide the link. I think that the, the timeline is it's editable by a spreadsheet. I think you can, if you miss some, some piece of the timeline, you can add your own um, uh, um, occasions there, 
let's call it this. Okay? So, again, if you have any question, you can ask now, or just find me in the halls. I'm going to be the guy that's going to be or running, or just sitting on the sofa, resting. If not, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.